Um, I was just, I had a fan. Well, I mean, I've had one of the, like one of these models for a long time, and it's always been next to my bed, so it's always kind of been like kind of a intimate object that I've been around. And then I just started playing around with taping stuff to the blades to kind of get it to bounce around like that. Yeah. And then once it starts bouncing around, it kind of takes on these new qualities, you know? Kind of becomes more than just like a regular old fan that I've seen a million times when I wake up in the morning, you know? Yeah, I've done, I've done a couple uh, before. And, um, they kind of, they've all, I've always used sound and, and insulation. I really like, I like playing music and stuff, and I've always, always played music with friends, you know, so. I'd, so it was fun to kind of incorporate elements of sound into it. And in a space like this, it was really exciting to be in just because it's so big and echoey and yeah. you get that nice, like it just kind of reverbs around the whole place. And, um, I don't know, I think there's, there's so many things you can do with, with the fans if you kind of tweak the weight of, the, of whatever's in there. Or, um, I don't know, I'd, I'd like to keep working with fans just because there's lots of, and if you, if you have like, um, I don't know, I've been playing around with different stuff, like sticking a microphone in there, and then you kind of get a bum 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 bum, you know. So I think I'll I'll, I'll play with fans for a little longer. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of artists struggle to get fans, but you just <laughs> gotta create your own. Uh, <laughs> right, thank you. Thank you.